Hello there. Hello. It's been a while. Um, just a little bit. Just a little bit. For those of you who don't know who we are, I'm Ashley. And I'm Emma. And we've been vlogging our trips to Orlando since 2016. Our last trip was back in 2021. And we are now going back in 2023. Yes. Now, the biggest change and difference to this trip is... We are married now. We are married now. It is, um, this is our honeymoon. So... Obviously, we knew we were only going to, going to go to one place anyway, so we are going back to Orlando for two weeks. Uh, all the normal stuff, Disney, Universal, a few new bits, like, for example, we're going to see the Orlando Magic basketball game the uh, first day? Yes. Yes. So we're going to get our sauce, so we're looking forward to that, but we are now ready to go. All the cases are in the kitchen ready to go, all the animals have been sorted, and we are now going to hit the road. So we're flying from Heathrow this time with Virgin. Yes. Uh, we're staying at the Premier Inn on, is it Bath Row? Bath Row, Terminal 2 and 3, Bath Row, Premier Inn. Yeah. Uh, booked the parking through Purple Parking, which is literally right next door. Yeah. Um, and then we are going to a lounge tomorrow before yes. we fly. Because then it's the honeymoon, we sort of treat ourselves, so we're going to go into the number one lounge. So we haven't been in a lounge in a while. Last time we went in one was the Virgin Club Lounge at Gatwick. Yeah. So that was pre-COVID. So it's going to be nice. But yes, we are ready to go. We're going to hit the road. So we will take you along the way. So we're about halfway there. Yeah. So we're doing a tradition now where we're going to stop off the welcome break. This is the same services as the last time as well. So. It is, isn't it? So we're going to... But once upon a time, we used to go to the one right at the back up, but... Yeah, we've decided This to is start. like a newer one, yeah. isn't it? So it's got bits and pieces and stuff like that. So this is the odd one because there's a Starbucks there, a Starbucks there, and there's a Starbucks back over there. So I think we're going to go to this one. This is the one we went to last time, wasn't it? The one in front? Yeah. Yes. So we're going to grab a Starbies. So normally we're used to the pumpkin spice season for holidays, yeah, aren't we? But. Uh, so we, we can have a festive Toffin at latte. Have a nice festive drink. The good secured. What did you go for? Toffin at latte. And I went for a chocolatey ginger latte thing. Um, but yes, festive cups, obviously the Christmas period. Uh, we're just chilling out at the moment. You've just grabbed something quick from KFC. Yeah, I've not eaten KFC. yesterday, so I just grabbed literally a little piece of chicken and that was it. Mm. That'll keep me going until we go for food later. Yeah, I mean, we've got we've got these. We'll probably take these to the car in a minute and obviously we'll uh, continue our journey. Okay, so we have made it to the Premier Inn. Yes. Right here. Oh, that's bad line. The trip was actually a lot better than it was last time. If you remember when we went in 2019. No, 2021. 2021. Um, it took us nearly four hours to get here. Yeah, because, long day. Because uh, when we just left off at Starbucks, it was about, what, 45 minutes? Yeah, so it was less than an hour from Starbucks. I think, it, yeah, it was about 40 odd minutes from the Starbucks restop at to here. Yeah, so, but no traffic. There was a tiny bit of traffic uh, about 10 minutes away from here, but it was yeah. swift. It was only because it dropped down to 50 miles an hour, but we got here really quick. Uh, purple parking is literally just next door, so we've used the same parking as we did last time. Very easy, you just drop the car off, drop your keys off, they just confirm when you're gonna pick the car back up. It's license plate, uh, recognized and benefit with that is if you park there you can use their is it q park q park coaches no they've got a shuttle a shuttle basically. so you basically turn up free shuttle takes you to the terminal and then same for when we come back so we have arrived uh it looks very nice it looks like it's an upgraded room which is nice so it's time room tour time i know a lot of people like my room tours so we are going to give you a room tour, or by the looks of it, a updated room at the Premier Inn on Bath Road, 
Heathrow. So as all my room tours start, the door, very basic. As you turn, you have some nice coat hangers for obviously coats and jackets. We put our luggage here so, because we've literally just walked into this room, so we're seeing everything for the first time too. Me, hey, hello. So as you turn here, there's some coat hangers, extra pillows, some towels there, and a big mirror. There's Emma. No matter what year it is, she's always on I, the bed. I wasn't, so I wasn't on the bed then, but I thought, oh, I'm always sat on the bed, so I better sit on the bed. So, nice decent sized bed. Obviously, Premier Inn advertised their beds to be the most comfy out there, so, yeah. Um, so, sockets wise, we've got plug socket, USB, light. So, if you turn the light, this is what we saw when we walked in. So, I don't know how well the camera's picking up, but a nice blue LED. Purple. purple. LED, so that's quite nice. Uh, what else we got? So we've got a nice little desk. Obviously, we've planted. So Emma's uh, using her Jurassic Park lounge fly that I got you. I don't think you can buy it anymore either. Was it last Christmas? No, it was for my birthday last year because we were going to the Jurassic Coast. That was it. And my favourite film, Jurassic Park. Of course. So they've got a nice, decent sized TV, nice complimentary. Teas and coffees, always like all PG tips, lovely. All bit of all Nescafe, Ridge. That's about it. Bit of a slim selection, but hey, nice, decent sized kettle. Now, the view we had last time is the view of Costa, I think it was. And oh, hang on. So you can just can you lock this. Hard to figure out. Um, we've got a view from outside, basically. Uh, nice armchair, nice little bedside table, Ever still on the bed. Air conditioning. And bathroom wise, it looks really nice actually. So me, again, hello. Uh, nice decent size sink. Let's test the toilet. It is clean, it is clean, good, good. Uh, now, the shower looks very nice actually. So it's a walking shower, obviously no bath, but it looks like a nice, Nice. Oh, I don't know what we got over here then. Ooh, better than hard elements. What we got then? Oh, luxury hair and body wash. Oh, I love the body wash. I'm standing, I'm literally standing on here. Ooh. And that is the Premier Inn. Yeah, so we, we didn't, because originally there were plans for us to eat mm. at home and then come down in the evening. Um, after we'd eaten, because I was meant to work, um, but my managers are very, very nice to me and told me that I could work over the weekend and have today off. Um, so we've come down as we do normally, but we were the plans were to eat at home, then travel down this evening. Um, so because we've travelled down early, we have booked onto the meal deal here. Um, I didn't think we could because online it wouldn't let us but then when we were here they just said yeah it was fine um asked us what time we wanted and um and the meal deal there. the meal deal includes evening meal and breakfast and breakfast so yeah. even though we've got the lounge tomorrow um it's not lunch it's gonna be lunch so we don't fly till half two so um it'll be lunch time before we get there so um or we're, before we're allowed into the lounge anyway. So we decided to just have breakfast here and rather than get up and rush off, we can have breakfast and stuff and chill and make sure we're all prepared yes. and things like that. So it's currently, it's just gone half four, the table's booked for seven, so I think we're literally just gonna chill now and just get into holiday mode and probably go for the case, just make sure obviously everything's in order for tomorrow. Um, and then obviously, because the, the flight isn't, Till later on tomorrow, so we can have a bit of a lie in tomorrow morning. We'll probably head down to breakfast for about nine, eight or nine, eight or nine ish, and then obviously we'll check out at the same time, get that complimentary bus to Terminal Three, and then just check in, and then we'll see how it goes. So yes, we're going to chill out now, and then I don't know if I'm going to take the camera down. Uh, I might just take the phone for the mini vlog, and then obviously we'll catch up with guys when we do. So we're going to get into holiday mode. Right, so a little bit later on, uh, we didn't take the camera down to no. uh, the restaurant, but we did uh, record, record a bit for the mini vlog. So if you want to see what happened, 
uh, check out the video, but basically the meal was okay, we did have a few issues. Um, basically, the food was nice and the, the waitress we had was absolutely amazing. Like, she, she was running she was around. All just all on her um, own, bless her. But they bought my food out and it wasn't cooked properly, so I sent it back. At the state, didn't you? Uh, yeah, sent it back. She came back with it again, which it was like, don't get me wrong, like, I was thankful, but then I had a hair in it, and I was like, I don't want that now. Bay, like... She was really nice, though. She did get me another glass of wine to, like, compensate for the fact the meal wasn't good. Um, but then we went to go and get a drink from the bar. So I've got just, well, I wanted a you cocktail. Wanted cocktails, I wanted, I, firstly, I asked for a porn star martini. They didn't have that. So I asked for a raspberry margarita. They also didn't have that. So I just ended up with a glass of wine and Ashley got... I got a, it's called a zombie. It's like some fruity thing with booze in it. But that's we're going to enjoy the drinks. We're going to chill out. We're going to end this part of the market. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something different. We're going to blend pre-travel day and travel day together. So it's going to be what just one main vlog. So next time you see us, it'll be, it'll be travel day. It'll be travel day. So. And we'll be getting ready but it'd probably be breakfast first. Yeah, but um, but next time you see us after that, it'll be travel day. It'll be travel day. For us, it'll be tomorrow, but for, for you, it'll be like seconds. So, see you in a few seconds. Yep. And just like that, it's travel day. It is. It is officially travel day. Um, so yes, we fly back to Orlando today. Uh, flights at half two. Uh, it's currently nine o'clock. So we're probably gonna. Check around the room again and put your head down to Purple Park and get the free shuttle over to the terminal. Um, good night's sleep. I woke up about half five. Uh, I normally wake up early on a, on a travel day anyway. You were. Oh, I didn't sleep very well again. Um, I was sort of up every couple of. awake every sort of hour or two. Mm. Um, but the bed was comfy. I it think really it's just because I'm away from home more than anything, probably. That's fair enough. Uh, but we had. Breakfast this morning, breakfast is okay. Standard pre-room breakfast wasn't too bad. Um, you might notice that we've got similar colour sleeves. We are We are wearing <laughs> matching hoodies because that was my doing. And it's got a little thing on the wrist, doesn't it? Um yeah, so it says A plus E love heart. So yes, we are that couple that have matching attire. Uh, so we've got the hoodies, we've got a couple of t-shirts as well which we're going to wear throughout the trip, I think we're wearing one tomorrow. Um, but yeah, start the travel day, it's finally here, it's, it seems like it's taken forever. But yes, it's finally travel day, so yes, let's get it started. Let's get our Disney and Universal Adventure 2023 and it starts now. So there goes our bus. Emma's happy. So we are now at Terminal 3. So obviously the board's over there tell you what airlines we've got to Terminal, but luckily for us, Virgin is over there. Right, so all through security, and we're going through the world famous duty free. But normally we walk through this. But Emma, I want to get some makeup. Uh, I bought any. Emma wants to look at makeup, so we're actually going to look through duty free instead of running through we're it. We're going to get the usual like water and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Have, have a browse. If you ever walk into a, a shop and you say you're only going to pop in but you end up trying up every single pair of glasses. We've been, here, been in there now for about 10 minutes. I haven't bought any So, I think Emma's tried on about 80% of these. Um, I'm not buying any. Ah, okay. So when I went to the lounge, aren't we? Yeah. But there was this cafe you wanted to come and have a look at. Yes, it's called Al 
I don't know, apparently it's quite quite a big one in London, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a very Instagrammable. Instagrammable? Yeah, that's where I am. Oh, okay. So there it is, just touch them in the corner. We probably should have got here a lot earlier because we can pretty much go and get in the lounge. Yeah. Well, we can go and have a look, can't we? Yeah. So here it is, just here. So obviously Heathrow has a lot of lounges, so you've got obviously gates and stuff here, but here's some of the other lounges. You've got Emirates, Club Aspire, British Airways, but the one we need, number one lounge, so F. James Pan, we can't go in the lounge yet because we're a bit early. <laughs> so we're gonna get head to it's not issue to the lounges is it's down this very creepy corridor all right so obviously we're a bit early to the lounge so but we so we have come to what's it called again Alan and then so it's very it's very it's, it's just like a very like posh coffee shop isn't it yeah so it's um, a big place for They've got a Nutella hot chocolate. Nutella hot chocolate. S'mores hot chocolate. Ooh. Turkish delight hot chocolate. Yeah. Um, they've got bubble tea. Oh my. Okay, so the drinks are arrived. So I went for a Nutella bubble tea, which is, it sounds sickly, but I'm sure it's lovely. And you just went for a... Ice lager. Just an ice lager, because we've only come here for a drink, haven't we? Yeah. So, and you wanted to just experience it, so we're going to have these, probably chill out for a bit, and then in about half, about 20 minutes we're going to head back to the lounge, aren't we? Attempt number two. <laughs> So obviously we're in the lounge and with our thing we get two vouchers for the champagne so we'll be redeeming them. Cheers. So Amazon drink number two. You've gone for a Savion, haven't you? But obviously I'm driving when I get over to the States, so I'm just gonna have a Coke now and I might have a beer on the airplane. But it's currently quarter past, 20 past 12. We've got, so we've got about an hour before we need to board. So we're just chilling. We, we have upgraded the seats. We've gone for these nice leather seats. Might as well sit down in fashion. And we're just watching the uh, the planes go by. We've seen, a, we've seen quite a few Virgin planes go out, haven't we? But we've seen planes of all, all shapes and sizes. Oh, got new crocs. Now you're saving your charms, aren't you? You've currently yeah, so got. On this front, so I've got a coffee cup and a bride. These, when I bought them, came with like how many? It was like four or five. It's like four or five charms. There's a New York City one, the coffee one that I just kept on. Baseball? No, not baseball. Summit American football. Yeah, American football. And another one. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. And, then, and we had to go to Primark yesterday on the on the way to here to get some socks, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. I'm a bit disappointed because I wanted to get some makeup. There wasn't anything there. That's fair enough. <laughs> what did you just I'm say? Just a really weird, I just we was walking to Boots and I went right and looked up and as she looked up and said, "There's random signs for Heinz beans. When you're in an airport, what do you think? Oh yeah, it's Heinz beans." Well, we might, we might have a craving for it while you're on the flight. Right, I'm just in WH Smiths, right, and I get it. Airport prices, they're a bit more expensive, but I'm sorry, but this is shocking. A tin of Heroes, a bit bigger than the ones you get in the supermarket. 18 pounds, my God. So Emma's come in for, you came in here for what, water? I was just looking. <laughs> and we've ended up. No need to put it in the vlog, I was just looking. Well, so. Right, so our gate's been called. We are at gate 26. So we are currently on our way there now. It's crazy, crazy. 
it's everywhere. So, uh, yes, it's a bit early, I think the cake's just been called, but we're going to get there, chill out, and then hopefully it might start boarding early. First ride of the trip, getting ready, moving walkway, getting ready for uh, the universal one. The moving walkway is approaching. Please watch your step. Are you excited? Well, on the plane, it's an old plane, isn't it? It's an old plane. It's a bit of a dated plane, but not too bad. We're sat pretty much near the back where we normally sit. Um, but we are, the ground staff have just been told to go. The, the plane is very full. It's a full one, isn't it? But we're not bad at all. See, Emma's got a, a window seat, not by the wing, but it's not too bad. The leg room's okay. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to take, be taken off shortly. So, Orlando, here we come. It's just ask. Now sit back and enjoy your flight. And thanks for watching. First drink of the flight, I've decided to go for a beer. So it's the Brew Dog Lost. I've had this before, it's quite nice. And it's gone for an apple juice. apple juice. Now, we've also got the Indulge Smoky. Now, these look nice, but we say, and we agree with Gaz from the Kershaws, bring back the pretzels. Bring back the pretzels, but I'm sure these are going to be quite nice. Okay, so dinner's arrived. So we both got some. I think it's couscous. I think it's couscous. Got some cheese and Jacob's crackers there. A nice roll. A chocolate and orange is it ganache. ganache. That looks quite nice. And then we both so there's two options. I've gone for one. Emily's gone for this. So I've gone for the creamy spinach and butternut squash pasta, which looks quite nice. And then Emma's gone for the, what is it, some sort of casserole. Chicken and leek casserole. That was quite nice. So I think we've got, and then drink wise, so I've already had a beer, so I'm going for a Coke because obviously I've got a drive on the other side. But Emma's gone for a Brooklyn Lager. That, I like Bro uh, Brooklyn Brewery stuff, so that's going to be quite nice. But we're going to tick into this, I think. So, end result, this food, hands down, was so, you've said it as well, haven't you? Really, really good. Your uh, casserole was quite nice, oh, wasn't it? It was, it was basically like the inside of a pie. It was so I could see. Basically like the inside of a pie without the top in. It was too good to be. Yeah, it was really, it's really nice. really nice. Yeah, I like Brooklyn Lager. The only thing I would say is the pudding. I ate all mine, Emma gave me some of hers, and it's really rich uh, because it's plant based chocolate, so it's really rich. So just be warned that if you have that, but I, I can recommend both meals, they're really, really good. So a bit of time's passed. I'm currently watching, you can't find obviously a Transformers, but our ice lollies have just come out. We had ice, was it ice cream last time? Again? What did we have last time? Was it Fabs? Yeah. Yeah. So these times. I'm not opening then, let's see what they are. Looks like a fruit lolly. Very nice. Right, so we've got is it just over an hour. One hour twenty. One hour twenty and the last bit of the trips arrive so we've got these little boxes so we've got some sandwiches 
that look quite nice. And then we've got a scone. And then they've got some jam, cream. And then we also have a chocky scoppy. A chocky scoppy. Arrived. We're waiting for the shuttle. Waiting for the shuttle. We, we literally just missed the monorail. So we've gone through immigration quite quick, picked up our cases within seconds, and yeah, we're just waiting for the monorail to head over to the main bit so then we can give a wave to the, the Christmas tree and then go get the car. Right, so car wise we've gone for a Hyundai Santa Fe so just going around the car make sure there's no scratches or anything because I'll see if there is they'll be liable for it but if you take any furs or stuff but to be honest with you it's not looking it's looking quite nice actually and the benefit with this one is I don't know if you can see it, it's only got 5,000 on the cost. Amber chose this one, so shall we go there? We have arrived at Dockside! Yay! Go so, on. Surfside and Dockside are literally right next to each other. Um, we have come a bit of a arsed way to get here. It's been a bit of a, it's been a journey, but we're here now! Woohoo! So we've just parked up in the check-in car park, which you get 20 minutes for, but we have officially arrived at Dockside. Emma is sprinting that way, bless her. But yes, we are entering Dockside for the very first time. Resort buses are just there, and a lot of people are coming off there, so obviously they've enjoyed a day at Universal. Lucky people. check in line but as you can see it's all decked out nicely for Christmas nice big trees Starbucks so obviously Emma's sorted. sorted for the morning and then got the, the pillars that we've seen before and then a nice universal store there so and then I think we're gonna head over to we're gonna check in first aren't we and then we're gonna probably head over there and get something to eat because we'll we are probably check in go and put the bags in the room do the parking and then come back and get something to eat so we are in 2426. We are entering this room. First time there's everyone else. So obviously we need to get the cases in. Find the light switches. Oh, there's one. Alright, so we're now in the room. Um, Obviously, needs, just needs to find out where the light switches are, which I guess. Oh! We have a pool view. Have we got a pool view, have we? Yeah. Do you want to. Oh! 
and we've got a, we've got a view of the pool and we've got a view of Point Orlando as well. That is not a bad view. No. So the view looks very nice. So we are in a what was it standard double? Yes. Yes, so we're in a standard double. Uh, looks very nice. Looks very clean. Smells clean. Smells lovely. And uh, obviously we're we're seeing all this for the first time as well. But yes, but I think what we're going to do is we are going to quickly drop everything and we're going to get something sweet, aren't we? Yeah. Because we are hungry. grab and go section for like sandwiches and like meal deals that you can take but then each kiosk specializes in a certain thing so you've got sandwiches and wraps you've got burgers you've got pizza you've got chicken tenders i think we're going to go for a burger aren't we yeah right so we're sat in the day we just got the food what did you get babe a fresh lemonade was that off the um the deli counter thing? Yeah, some sweet potato fries and a bacon cheeseburger. Nice, and I went for a turkey turkey sandwich with a lot of nice stuff on it, some french fries and the beloved orange Fanta. I think we're going to devour this and then head back up to the room, aren't we? So we were on the way back to the room and then Emma's like, oh, we'll just have a peek. Well, it's open <laughs> and we're right next to it. And we, we're just going to unpack so. And she's, and, and she's just gone, she's just gone over to this milk here and gone, well, that's coming home with me. So obviously with all the Universal Hotels, same as Disney ones, they have, for example, here, exclusive merch to the, to the resorts, so obviously endless summer. Um, merch obviously we'll most likely get something like that and obviously their versions of the spirit jerseys that's a cool one but obviously you can't get everything from universal but you can get a decent amount of stuff here especially for like souvenirs and gifts for people so no doubt oh jurassic park merch Ooh. and just like that the back of the room yeah uh food actually was oh it was oh, so it was considering it was just burgers and chips it was so good it was like, really good the plain food was nice but it's not proper food is it like, it's, it's we, we, we all know the plain food is it's just that something to eat but bearing in mind it was like we went down late we must have got down there about 10 to 10 that it was still packed but the food was on, was lovely it was, it was on point and the orange fanta went down absolute dream uh, but guys that is it travel day is done we are not going anywhere else we are all we're literally doing now is currently we're gonna, ten, 10 past 10 we're gonna unpack we are gonna unpack i'm gonna edit the mini vlog for the day and then we are going to bed because tomorrow morning a hectic first day we are going to have breakfast with the grinch which yeah. we've never done the only slight issue is our reservation is at 7 a.m. And the buses don't even run that early, so we've got to get a new. We're going to get an Uber to to the park. Yeah. Um, go in, have breakfast, probably come back out. No, we're going to go in, have breakfast, go and see if we can get on some of the rides early. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to come back out. I think then possibly go to Walmart. Yeah, get some supplies. And, and then tomorrow evening, we're going to watch Orlando Magic The Play. Orlando Magic basketball game, so that's gonna be a first. I've always wanted to go, so we're gonna do that something new for us. So very hectic first day, but in regards to travel day, guys, it is over, it is done. Another one done and dusted. Done and dusted, and dusted. it's been a long day. It's been an okay. It hasn't felt that long though. Like, no. I must admit, I thought, Oh, this is gonna drag. drag. But no longer were we on the plane. We were off. We were like an hour away from Orlando. Yeah. That's um, crazy. But yeah, so. But. but we're here. The, we, uh, and also, I just need to add. So we literally came here two years ago to the date, exactly. 
like pre-travel day was the same day and it, I said to Ashley I think they landed on the same days as well and I kid you not it's 10 times hotter this it time is, yeah, than have, it was the t last we time we came we actually walked out of the airport and actually felt and we, like when we come 21 this day and we walked out we were like it's freezing yeah. walked out and we were sweating like the, I can't believe how different like it's like it's not as hot as it would be when we usually come in September, October, mm -hmm. but it is so much hotter. I mean, it was, we landed and it was 28. Yeah. So, and it's the middle of November. So hopefully we're gonna have some really yeah. good weather this trip, but that's it that's guys. That's Travel day done. We are gonna unpack, we're gonna go to bed. It's been a long day. I've been up for nearly 24 hours. Emma's been up for nearly the same. So yes. thank you very much for watching the travel day. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And we shall see you tomorrow for, for day one. For day one. Bye. Bye.